Okay, everybody. Welcome back to the Attack of the B-Team server. Oh! I forgot I had that hat on. That's pretty silly looking. But, let's actually... I got a couple new ones. Let's see. Um, da -da 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 -da. What do I want to put on today? Rabbit in a hat. Done. Perfect. <laughs> All right. I'm back in the attack of the B team server, and we're hanging out. We're gonna. I'm gonna just uh, do a quick video here. Again, I'm I'm kind of recording little bits here and there, so this is uh, just a little bit late on a Thursday night. I want to tack into the video. I'm gonna record. Uh, finish up on Saturday. So, let's get right to it. Uh, Runky. Alright, so, uh, you, yeah, derpy, 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 I know. This uh, is just so I can watch things hitting my chest here, and I can shut it off so that it stays in the chest rather than going down. Uh, I'm probably going to rig this up different somehow. I'm not sure how yet, but that's... For now, I have built tesseracts. I have two. Uh, this one is connected to one over in my mine shaft area. Not mine shaft, but the shaft that I mined. Yeah. Um, and and all I did, which it's 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 a little temperamental. I'm not sure why exactly. I'll explain a couple things. But one thing I have a problem with is occasionally I'll load a few things in in the chest over there. It'll get sucked through the Tesseract, and it'll pop in over here, no problem. And then occasionally, it'll just get all backed up for no particular reason. So if anybody's got any idea, I'm not sure what's going on. I do, I did fix one thing, which is I, I have a chunk loader downstairs now. And uh, that is keeping this area loaded, so that when I'm over there and sending items back through this Tesseract, this is loaded, and it's going to go through this pipe and into this chest and into my sorting system in theory so that's the idea behind this at least what the heck got leaves falling on me in the inside my house but anyway that is um that was the idea here anyway oh hey there's my uh i don't know how you get it off of there <laughs> anyway there's my gun on my drying rack that's my gun we did, took out shooting the other day. Um, anyway, I got a, I got a, I got a uh, trophy for just killing zombies. Not bad, huh? Couple things. Um, I have, I have uh, made this a little bigger. I might have mentioned that already. So who knows? It's a little bigger. You can't tell from here because it goes down. So. It's a lot bigger for throwing. I can throw an entire stack of ore in there, no problem. Um, I made a mailbox. No mail. <laughs> Bummer. And doorbell. Woohoo. Nice, huh? All right. Back inside, because the rest of the stuff actually occurs uh, down below. So I have gone a little crazy with the machines, so to speak. Crazy like a fox. Anyway, oh my gosh. Anyway, this is an elevator block, and I'm going to go crouch. Crouch down to go down, up, jump up to go up. Pretty simple. And uh, down here we've got some uh, that, uh, yeah, we won't talk about that. Ask Swoko. He, he made a video about it. Anyway, it's sort of some cheaty power. Sorry, but it's it's too too easy to pass up. It really is. And that's not working. So that's interesting. Well, it's all lavaed up, so we're good. It's not making any because it's not working right now. That's pretty full. There's the chunk loader in the back there, and that is all working. It's got two lo two chunks loading. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Why my Tesseract isn't accepting items occasionally. We got a pulverizer here. All powered up. And that feeds directly into this induction smelter, so occasionally I'll I'll do some stuff here and it'll pop right over there. We've got a magma crucible right here. And that's piped on over to a fluid transposer, so I can bucket up some redstone or some some uh, ender essence, whatever whatever is needed at the time. Now you may hear a little bit of noise 
just to my right. And that is, uh, and I, I, I have to give credit where credit is due. It is very similar to Joe the Pirates. Ah, spawner dealio. And uh, this is, as you can see, I haven't pretty fight it up yet. I will probably make these blocks different, all this cobble around there at some point. And I've moved four spawners over here with, uh, I don't have them here, spawn uh, block teleporters. I used some block teleporters to get these four spawners over here. And that primed the pump so that I could get these little purple dudes with these crazy arms in an auto spawner right there. And that's given me some massive amounts of ender pearls. So I've got about 256 ender pearls right now. I've got, so there's one witch spawner, two zombies, and one skeleton at the moment. And I'm not a bat, so I can't do that. I can't fly if I'm not a bat. Silly. And uh, I've got a little access tunnel here so you can kind of look down upon and see that I am full up on the mob essence. Uh, it uses a, quite a bit of energy. <laughs> I have this guy in a reusable safari net. That's the purple dude. Um, so anyway, that's what he's in there for. We've got this tank of mob essence because I thought I could use this tank system to pipe mob essence in and out. So I've got the grinder here piping mob essence or items. This is item... Uh, these are item ducks. And these items go all the way across the floor, up the wall, and into the bottom of my sorting chest. So anything that these guys drop just gets sucked in with this vacuum vacuum pipe, basically. I get shot over there, and you know I've got bows, I've got glowstone, and bottles, all kinds of stuff popping over there. And on this side of the grinder, we've got a glass cover. <laughs> which is keeping me safe from these guys who like to look at me but can't shoot me because there's a glass cover there. And actually, I had a glass cover here, but I was messing with that pipe and I forgot to put it back. So, we'll take care of that later. Uh, anyway, behind this glass cover is a fluid duct, and the fluid duct pipes out mob essence over this way. And I had to get a little bit uh, creative uh, with how I was going to pipe all this, which is kind of silly, but... Um, yeah, I don't show you, need to show you the inner workings, but at any rate, it the pipe comes over here and up and around, and then it drops into these three portable tanks that house the mob essence, and then I pipe it back out. So these are all set to output. They pipe automatically pipe back out, and then that pipe goes all the way up and over and hits the auto spawner right there, and I get purple guys and ender pearls. So what I've been doing is I've been trying to get all this mob essence out of these tanks so that I can I can uh, get rid of it because I'm sick of those tanks and so I've been dumping them into these portable tanks here so that I got enough. Now I'm not sure it's gonna fully self-sustain itself yet it might be enough but I'm not sure because as you saw that tank was low but that might have just begin, been because I was away from it for a while. Because those four, those four old school spawners won't spawn unless I'm here. But with the chunk loader here, then the mob essence guy, unless I take him out, unless I take him out of the auto spawner, he'll continue to spawn and get killed by the grinder because this chunk is loaded. So even though I'm not here, so at any rate, I could run an essence. In theory, then I could run out of mob essence. I think. Uh, but I think this is going to work for now. It is uh, considerably more complicated underneath the floor here. I've got that cheaty lava power under here too, powering just this stuff. And it's barely enough to run the auto spawner, to be quite honest. Uh, this is a lot closer to the uh, power, so it doesn't seem to have any problem. But anyway, that is my current mob grinder. And I plan, like I said, I'm going to use some factory blocks to make this look a little prettier. Uh, once I um, light that up so that the regular spawners don't spawn because I hate them witches. In case you watch my MHC, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anywho, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, well not quite. I've got to hop into my portal over here. We're going to hop into the portal over here. 
we've got uh, some new destinations down here, but we're not going to show those off at the moment. We're going to just go over to my little valley here. And we're going to pop in here and say hi to myself. And... Oh, let me just show you this big old hole I've been cutting into the grok. Whoa! Hello! Hello! It's a, it's a little big now. All the way to bedrock, man. There's my little tesseract dealy on this side. Uh, you got to power this pipe, so it's powered up. And then I drop stuff in here. And sometimes it disappears. It goes right through the tesseract, and it's cool. And other times it just sits there. So I'm not sure what's going on other than the chunk loader thing, which I fixed. So, anywho. Um, let's come back over here. And this is where I've been doing the Galacticraft stuff. Galacticraft stuff. We've got the NASA workbench over here and the other stuff. I showed some of this stuff already. But what I decided to do was go ahead and move some stuff up here. We've got the solar panels now. Ooh, whoa, those are so cool because I love how they how they move and follow the sun. It's really neat. And we went ahead and put the rocket down on the launch pad. I'm going to make this into a launch area here somewhere, uh, something like that, and doing some factory blocks and stuff like that, you know, at some point. Make it look a little prettier. Uh, again, I don't have a lot of time to make things look pretty. I've been able to get things, a few things functional, but we have not launched yet. I will obviously record that, and if I fail, uh, you'll see it. <laughs> I've seen some some interesting uh, interesting trips to the moon. Yes. Uh-huh. Yogg's cast and whatnot. And a couple other people that uh, sort of had some difficulties when they landed or didn't land, rather. So anyway, uh, I think that's just about it for now. We're going to take a little plunge here. do 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 Ah, splish. And, uh... I think that'll have to do it for today. And uh, I'm a bat. Oh, I got this. Ooh. I got a blaze with a rabbit on my head. This allows me to go into the nether and not have to worry about getting burned to death. Uh, and losing all my stuff in the lava because I can just change to a, to a, a, a blaze. And then uh, I can cruise through the lava and the fire and all that other stuff. And I never get hot never get burned that is really really cool so everybody I don't have any potatoes in my hand but maybe I do maybe I should I think that'll do it for now uh, I'll uh, throw some more footage together and we'll get this all sorted out and then we'll say goodbye so see you next time I'm recording now I'm recording we're just over here checking out JD's place and a tornado just happened to pop up right next to us as he was showing me around Luckily, uh, what is that? Oh, that's the, oh, wow. He lost some animals. It's moving off. <laughs> oh, man, that's my first tornado. Wow, that's crazy. Lag City. <laughs> okay, next time. One other quick thing I forgot to tell you about was I made these two deep storage units. And these guys hold a massive amount of one particular item. So, in this case, I have 22,653 cobble stored in this deep storage unit. Pretty cool, huh? And I can call these up 64 blocks at a time from the storage unit. Uh, from the request pipe, you just hit... 64 cobble. I want 64. It pulls the 64 out of here and just keeps going. And then this one, I just have dirt, 3,000 dirt in this one. And I may make uh, another one at some point with uh, maybe the redstone or something like that that I have a lot of. Um, I'm still not doing too bad. I've got chips in all of these guys now, so I have all of these chi all of these chests all the way out. And I've got at least two empty, completely empty ones. So we're doing good on storage at the moment, although things are going quite fast. Mostly because of these guys. Uh, so I may have to do something about that shortly enough. We'll have to see. 
Um, I don't need any of this witch stuff, so maybe I'll take some of that stuff out. And who knows? I don't know. We'll have to look at the uh, at the storage and see. Well, I'm all over the place here. All right. Well, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yep, I have made quite a mess. I've decided to put some better walls up, some different kind of walls up around my spawner area here and move things around and expand it a bit. I'm going to actually take that wall out and move it back about five blocks. And I'm just going to be able to come in right underneath these two houses over here. It'll be really close. I had to take out two buildings and the well in order to make this fit from where I originally put the bloody thing, which was kind of silly. But uh, on the surface, you'll just see one one layer higher than it is now and maybe I'll even put dirt over it just to hide it or maybe I'll make a secret bunker entrance or something like that I don't know anywho I gotta get back to work uh, see you in a bit bye alright now we're talking now we got some decent spawn rates what do you guys think right, let me get down off my little perch here well I uh, gussied up my spawner here a bit. It's much nicer. Um, it does however interfere a little bit with the village but I'm gonna fix that and we'll see how it goes but uh, I think I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with it but if I AFK a little bit I should be able to fill up my tanks and then uh, go from there so uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Note to self, don't put creepers in your auto spawner when you've also got witches on board. If, I, if I'm going to do creepers, they're going to have to be by themselves. I like getting all this, this gunpowder, but man, this is the consequences were just too much. Almost died trying to fight off the witches that came through afterwards. Another creeper exploded down below after it took out the grinder. <sighs> So all I could do to get the lights on and get the the safari nets out of the spawners. And I'm so tired. It's 11 o'clock at night. I just got done doing this part where I added another auto spawner. I got power running to I got I got dedicated power running to each auto spawner and the mob essence pipes, you know, all all worked out. It was all sorted. Now I got I I miss um I lost half my fluid ducts not half but I lost several. This is this is all messed up, all messed up here. I'm missing at least three pieces there. Actually, that part's okay and the tanks are okay at least. I'm missing item ducts on this side. I'm missing aluminum wire here and. Uh, the power that was run up to the, the grinder plus all the glass and I think I got seven of these back I don't know if that's all of them oh, I'm so frustrated and I'm tired and I just I was going to record tonight to show you guys this bit that I just finished it was all beautiful Witches. I don't know what's with the witches lately. <laughs> if any of you watched my MHC, you would have seen me having all kinds of problems with witches. <sighs> let me see. No, uh, let me think. Dead center. That was the drain. Wait a minute. I, why did I have that one there like that? Can't even pick that up. Stick it out of my life. Uh, I think that was the drain, wasn't it? Or the wasn't it a machine? I don't even know what was there anymore. It was like that. Yeah, it was like that. And then these two should have just been cobbles. Fine, I don't care. I'm missing covers. Let's see if I got enough. 
Enough of these left. No, I lost a few of these too. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, well, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. I guess I'll try and see if I can get this sorted out tonight and so I can get this episode posted tomorrow. Oh, man, I lost a couple of those, too. Dang it. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, after much wrangling, it's not perfect, uh, but uh, I'll deal with that later. Um, I now have both my otter spawners working again. Moment of truth here. We'll just flip the switch, turn the lights off, let everything spawn again. No creepers this time. We'll reserve that for a one-time only load. Uh, occasionally when I need gunpowder, but right now I don't. I've got about a thousand, so I think we're good there. And, uh... Let me show you around, finally, now that it's working and not exploded. So, what we've got down here is the grinder. And uh, I have a... Uh, let's turn this down. We've got an item pipe behind this clear glass cover. And that is set to vacuum, so when mobs drop their stuff, it all gets sucked into the inventory system. I think I mentioned some of this before in a previous video, but I have done a little tweaking. And then we've got mob essence going here. That goes out into these four portable tanks, because I like the look of those. But I'm also behind here, just to, because those don't quite, those aren't quite enough to keep up. Behind this ghost block here, I've got another tank full of mob essence, as you can see. And that is also supplying uh, the spawners up above. So these two, these two pipes both come in, one from the bottom of the... Uh, you can't really see. This comes in from the bottom of the tanks right here, and this comes in from this tank, and they both go up here and up and over and across and to the spawners. Here, let's go up in here. I got another ghost block here. I got to be careful inside here, but let's see. Uh, then, then they those that uh, essence pipe comes up and over and across. You can kind of see. Oops. You can kind of see where the pipes come if you look here closely. Those are covers. Keep moving here and the, the witches can't hit us. Now I've got uh, each of these spawners has their own uh, has their own power source. So I, I don't have any problem with power now. I, I was for a while but uh, because originally I was going off a, another design. This is this is based uh, on the design that Joe the Pirate did in his video. So shout out to Joe the Pirate. And um, basically in the, what I did in, in lieu of, because I was having a lot of problems with power. The spawners weren't getting enough power or enough mob essence. So we've tweaked both of those. And we, we're running some cheaty power. Yes, Woko, I'm running your lava generator source thingamajigger at least until such time as it gets nerfed uh, and that it, this down here is only powering the grinder now originally I had it splitting off and going up to the spawner or the single spawner at the time and now I've got it only powering the grinder which it just barely seems to be keeping it keeping up with uh, when it gets really busy uh, occasion that does happen occasionally where it gets a little overloaded and I'm not sure why but I think this, this uh, changing over to separate power has helped. Oh, that's my pipe going in, the, the mob essence pipe going up to the spawners. So each one of these auto spawners in there, one of which is spawning the little Darwin mob thingy, you know, to get the ender balls, ender, uh, ender pearls, and the other is spawning uh, wither skeletons at the moment. Uh, those each have their own uh, of those lava generator powers. And I've got eight spawners in here. Four witches, three zombies, and one uh, regular skeleton spawner. And I've got a bunch of safari nets now. I've got one with a creeper loaded, as you saw earlier. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I've got a sheep, I got a cow, I got a pig just in case, and I've got these guys right here which I spawn in for the ender pearls. I've got a wither skeleton, a zombie pig man, an imp, and I think there's one more. I forget what the other one was. A blaze. I also have the blazes as well. So, oh, and this is something I wanted to do on camera that I hadn't done this yet. I wanted to put these hearts on my bar here so that I can, ba bam, give it a second here, get some extra hearts. There we go. Finally. And I've, I've actually got some more hearts that I haven't done yet. Um, let's go ahead and do these. I can do these right here. Oh, no. Uh, let me see. I can't remember how to do them. Yeah, I've got four more of these puppies now, and I'm sure I've got the necrotic bones. That's why I've got the wither skeleton in my spawner. So we need four of those. I think we need some apples. Uh, four of those, and we need... What are, how many diamonds do we need? I forget. Let's look it up. Get in there. Uh, I mean, four diamonds per apple, so that's 16 diamonds. I still have 470. I think we're doing just fine there. And and then I need a bunch of tin, right? We need this, which is no aluminum. Four aluminums per. So we need. Yeah, hello good enough we're gonna need a couple of blocks uh, 9 18 18 should do I got this, I got junk in my inventory from the fix so let's put this stuff away one of those left over I had a third auto spawner but I, I couldn't squeeze it in so I just put that away for now, let's okay. First of all, let's make the jeweled apples. Four of those. Break these apart. Four of those. And four more heart canisters. How cool is that? Oops. Hello. Ugh. Throw it on the ground, derp. Let's click first and then add them in. Now I've got six. Yeah, baby. Yoo-hoo. Nice. As you can see, I also made this crazy looking short bow here. Uh, anyway, I, I like bows because when I'm morphed, I can still aim and fire. So this thing, as you can see, is quite the bow. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, cobalt. I've got knockback and... I don't know all kinds of stuff on it as you can see I pull back and it does a little another little notch let's shoot a sheep one shot one kill pretty good bow <laughs> that was not a sheep that was a cow but that's okay uh, anyway oh oh yeah yeah my bunker this bunker uh, encompasses the top of the uh, this this block here is the top of the mob spawner uh, so <laughs> I had to I had to kind of redo the village here a little bit. I knocked out four buildings, I think, to fit this in. Uh, but that's okay because they weren't using a bunch of them anyway. I put some doors on some of the buildings that weren't being used. So that helped a little bit. But th this is uh, just kind of a bunker kind of deal. I might spruce it up a bit a little later on. It's a little, you know, I need some steps there and, you know... There's not much in here at the moment. Uh, as you can see, I got a lot of covers. And if you look down in some places here, you'll see under the covers where I've got things hidden. So uh, the floor looks a little goofy because of the covers, but I've got these glowstone blocks, these micro blocks. These are kind of cool. And uh, because the mob spawner has been doing quite well, I've gotten quite a few little trophies. So I just thought I'd uh, throw them out here. Uh, to show uh, what I've been doing there. So, 
anyway and this little spot over here that I got walled in uh, is where the light switch is uh, I, I couldn't find it maybe somebody can help me out there if they can find something but I couldn't find anything that uses power that I could use lights with in this mod pack so I just ended up making these uh, let me get back down there making these cage lights oh I just made a treadmill by the way uh, it's just for looks apparently because you can't do anything with it um, so I made these cage lights as you can see right here um, and, and they're bright enough to stop the the regular spawners which is which is what I was after but the only way I could power them was with redstone which is just kinda silly in my opinion considering you've got all this other automation and power options and stuff like that so and in order to do all that I had, I had to actually double the floor so that I could run redstone through it because you can't put covers over redstone in the same block area it was just it was just complicated it took forever to figure that out so uh, if if you look in here yeah I can only go to there but that's where the redstone goes and right now uh, I just have it set up on a lever so I can turn it on and off easy easy peasy so that's that that's what I've been doing here um, I've been fooling around with the flans mod a little bit I've expanded my storage down here uh, I made a couple of tool racks and threw some more weapons up on there. Uh, I've got a few guns. I might put them up on a rack. I haven't decided yet. I kind of like this though because you can just take them out of the case and start using them instead of breaking the rack in order to get them. So, uh, and I I created a uh, like a weapon. What was it called? I forgot what it was called. A weapon tool station or something like that. Where you can, uh, where you can add things like, say, I wanted to add a scope to my AK-47, and you, you you click on it and you put the gun in, and then and then you can add scopes and other things to it. Well, every time I used it, the bloody thing crashed, so I took it out. Oh, and I stole the power from this area to put over there because I didn't I didn't have time to make another one. I'll, I'll make that later on, get that fixed. Uh, anyway, um. That's that's about it at the moment. Um, the bunker was time consuming. Uh, I flattened out some space over here and expanded the walls. I'm, I haven't decided what I'm going to do over there yet. Um, there's at least uh, uh, there's there is some some more space, some more uh, some new people on the server. Uh, Snuggle and Bio. Uh, I'm sure uh, if, you, if you check out my uh, the description on this video, you'll see I, I should have their their channels linked, uh, and they've got a new base over here. If I can connect, yep, it's connecting today. And they've got a really nice little island. This is a origin origin valley, but it's an island, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you guys have seen Swoco and uh, Hillbilly Willie's video, but they've been over here, I know, and uh, put a couple of statues, and they've called the girls out with going to the moon or something. So, just to uh, take care, girls says it could be uh, could be fun. I don't understand. They were saying something about crop circles on their video, but I don't see it. Maybe uh, maybe whatever they did uh, has been annihilated already. So we got a nice looking house over here, though, and I, I love this green. Really contrasts quite well. Uh, rather than the green of the swamp that I have so <laughs> but uh, yeah anyway so this is uh, this is snuggle and bios place bio XX anyway um, yeah and they've got a basic dialer so I gotta do that and I uh, also was uh, putting a portal in the nether but uh, I was at work and I couldn't figure out where it was, so uh, I, I messed up and didn't have all the pieces with me when I went, so I've got to finish that up at some point when I'm home. I have the cards to put in. I built a, I took it all, found a spot, I took it all with me, but didn't bring the cards. <laughs> so now I've got to go and find the spot again and, and, and go check it out. So, anywho, um, and let's, uh, let's, let's get back to myself here oh I know what else I need to do I get a, oh my hat yikes let's put the armor 
on the stand here. I love that. That's cool. Let's uh, go downstairs. And uh, I gotta spruce this up or figure out another way to actually, you know, like hop down here and get back up as myself. But anyway, <laughs> love my hat. <laughs> Wow, that's just crazy. Oh, I got a couple more. What else did we get? We got a welding helmet. Vikings. Universe pumpkin. There was uh, something. Something else. Tree hat. Uh, there was some other. Something else cool that I got recently. I forgot what it was. <laughs> Suspicious hat. So the top. Uh, let's just go up. Oh, I didn't do it. You idiot. I've done that before. Done. Thank you. Okay. So, I think that will do it for this video. And uh, we're going to sign out now. And uh, you, can, you guys can just see the carnage behind me. And, um, and in case you didn't notice, uh, I didn't show uh, my chests are filling up with loot. Some of it good. Some of it bad. <laughs> I don't even know how much rotten flesh I have right now, but uh, I've got I've got uh, three or four hundred glass bottles. I know that much. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I hope you guys like this video uh, and all its little bits that I've done throughout the week. Um, that's probably the way I'm going to have to do things for a while. Uh, things are a little busy right now. My company is moving my office space, and I am dealing with that over the next month and a half or so is a lot to do and I don't have a lot of extra time so uh, even uh, doing this actually was time consuming and uh, I don't know it's it's 11:30. I've got to go to bed so uh, anywho uh, good night once again and uh, I've been told that later taters might be a good sign off what do you guys think hmm something like that or maybe just uh, I don't know. Uh, my brain's not working too well. So later, taters. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Next time. Whatever. Uh, tune in for MHC on Friday. Okay. Bye-bye.